Hey, welcome to another episode of Clear Light Connections, where we talk to the people behind the businesses of Bay Area Houston, proudly sponsored by UTMB Health. Uh, I have Dara on today. With You're with the Sunshine Kitchen. T- tell me yes. about the Sunshine Kitchen. So it's a little bakery and cafe um, in Seabrook, um, located in Pelican Plaza, which is right there in the heart of Seabrook, across from the lake and near Specs and Verizon. So I'm tucked in there. It says bakery um over the over the storefront and we have breakfast items desserts lunch items um custom orders for dessert trays custom cakes um like birthday cakes anniversaries um you know just all kinds of sweet stuff and we also have savory as well so yeah how'd how'd you get started in this um so well i've been open about a year well just a little over a year um had wanted to do something like this for years about probably about eight nine years it's kind of been brewing and in november of 2020 i got laid off from a business development job in staffing and recruitment that i'd been doing for years and just decided this is i was this was the time to do it um i'd found the space i'd been looking for some space just kind of playing with the idea like i said it had been brewing but i was like i could just kind of feel something like i'm ready to start looking at space around the area and i found it i walked right in and it i had the vision knew what i wanted to do with it and like i said being laid off was a little bit of a blessing so i just went went for it took a little while to get it built out almost a year actually to get it built out and opened last august so tell me a little more about so it, it's almost like s- sometimes it's necessity that drives us to do these things it mm-hmm. sounds like something you've been thinking about mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. T- talk about at what point do you know you've got you've got to do it and 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 how that was i mean because that, that's a big leap right you go from working the other job to uh-huh. something totally different yeah well i mean i just you know that i wasn't loving what i was doing anymore in terms of the profession I'd been in for several years and had kind of stopped at one point. I, I when my kids were smaller, um, I stopped working in the industry and then I went back to it. And I, I just there was always something there that I was like, this is not really what I need to be or want to be doing. I mean, I I would go out and like I said, I did business development, so I could talk to people loved introducing myself and the company but then you know as as everything kind of happened through covid and i just realized you know if i'm going to do this this may be the a good time you know i mean it's it wasn't exactly a perfect time in terms of like supply chain and trying to get a space built out and you know just people being at home and still a little bit leery of going out but mm-hmm. i was just like if not now when you know so um i i've always wanted a place where people can just come and be out to me a bakery's happy you know when people mm-hmm. walk in they're usually like ooh, what you know they're they're coming with their mom or you know the with their parents or with friends and they're usually like see the yummy things and they're just pretty happy about being there um and you know just decided that this was the time and this was the place to do it i like i said i'd found the space and it just felt like so so that's interesting what you said was it's not about necessarily the baked goods it's Mm -hmm. about the people Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. tell me more about that so i feel like so i do like to cook and i like to bake i've been doing it for as you know i grew up that way i grew up on a, a farm and ranch and my mom cooked, my aunts cooked, then baked, uh, my grandmothers, everyone, you know, even my dad, I mean, he wasn't much of the, so, so much a baker, but just cooking and, you know, fresh garden and all kinds of good things. That's just how I grew up. And so um, I feel like that's, it's people and the recipes that you get from your family or the recipes you grow up either having or cooking yourself. And so I, I do like to cook and bake, but that I think is kind of secondary to the people and having a place where people are and visiting with my customers. Um, 
because I do have people that help me with the baking and the cake decorating. I don't do it all myself. Good, I, I, I would hope not. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's the number one mistake that small businesses owners make is trying to do too much on their own. Yeah, and, yeah. And so it sounds like you definitely gotten over that hurdle. Well, uh, yes, because I knew I couldn't do all the baking yeah. um, of the things that I wanted to do. But I think as I was, you know, telling someone or I've told, you know, a few people, but I think it was the day of my ribbon cutting, I was visiting with someone about just the things that I remember of the people so far after the first year of being in business of, you know, kind of the stories that people that I've learned about them and the people that I met that live in the community that I had no idea. You know, there's, of course, there's people that friends, family, acquaintances that you know have supported me but the majority are a lot of people I mean the majority are people that I didn't know in my community and just some of the stories that how I've gotten to know them and a little bit about their background so to me that's you know that's the the fun part the interesting part the the thing that I mean yes it's it's great when people say to you oh you know we loved the cake and but it's usually all around. I mean, they love the cake, but it's around an occasion, typically a mm-hmm. birthday or a celebration or, you know, some kind of gathering. So it's it's to me about the people that are eating the goodies or the the, the custom cakes or whatever it is they're yeah. getting. Yeah. So I, I I come to the Sunshine Kitchen. What what can I expect as a a, a customer? What 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 am I looking at? What kind of menu items? Yeah, and, what kind and of... you know the 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 feel of the place. Yeah, and... um, I think it's very warm and inviting. Um, it's it's uh, small. You're I mean it's very small and intimate. You walk in and there are tables. There's like four tables inside. Of course I've set I do set tables outside, but I could probably count the days on my on one hand when it's been nice enough for people to sit outside but I I do have people sit out as well but you come in it's a like I said a small kind of warm feel um it's got it's yellow walls I mean they're not like super bright yellow but um you know the colors are, are inviting and then you walk in and you see the the display case uh refrigerated case that's got you know some of the goodies that we serve in terms of lemon tarts and chocolate croissants and um my mom's banana pudding recipe so in the Mm -hmm. the cool case and then there's a long uh display case that has like our cinnamon rolls our muffins our cookies cake we have a cake of the day or cake slice of the day so um you'll see all those i mean they're right there you just look and walk and pick out what you want and so you said you have a lot of regulars Mm -hmm. uh, but you've also met a lot of new people how Mm -hmm. how are people finding out about the sunshine um I personally think it's word of mouth um I mean I do advertise I I mean I do I say advertise I do have social media um Facebook I've gotten quite a few followers through Facebook um I have an Instagram page I'm working on a website that should be hopefully fingers crossed ready in the next couple of weeks (coughs) excuse me um but I think the biggest and you know I pass out flyers I go to businesses I you know go to networking events Mm -hmm. hand out my card but um I would say the biggest is word of mouth yeah Mm -hmm. and and I think that's that's interesting because a lot of small business owners they that that's where they don't realize most of their business is going to come from is Mm -hmm. is that word of mouth advertising it's the most even for big businesses it can be the most powerful uh form of business development and i I guess there's a connection there that you understood that Mm. from your past you know i think to a certain extent i did (coughs) but you know i i've also like when people come in i feel like i do have a lot of return customers that are you know once people come in and they have the product then they they're coming back so that's just you know a huge way they, yeah. they like it they share with their friends they share with their family in terms of telling them so yeah i mean it's just i i think it's I, I knew that and it's it took a little more time i think for me to you know start seeing that but I'm, I feel like I'm starting to see it a little more now. So you got one year under your belt. Mm-hmm. W- what are your plans, your hopes, aspirations for, let's say, year five? Um, I actually hope by year five I have another location. I want to expand um, to um, 
have another probably a bigger um because i have it's 700 square feet right now total my little dining space my uh, display and my kitchen is all and, and restroom there and too so it's like all 700 square feet so I, I would like to have a bigger kitchen so that I can expand my menu and do more um, probably a little like bigger size catering um, because right now I, I can do some of that and I do but I think I'm going to be limited by my kitchen size so yeah, year five, I'd like to have another location with a bigger kitchen. Nice. Yeah. So what's your number one selling item? Um, lemon tarts. Lemon tarts? Mm-hmm. Yeah, lemon and tarts. The recipe came from? Me. Okay. I, actually, I love lemon. <laughs> so that is not that was not a family recipe. Um, but I just am a, a lemon fanatic, and that was in sunshine. I was like, I, I need to have this. Yeah, you know, that does uh, make sense. Yeah, so we came up I came up with the recipe found something that worked and we make our the own you know shortbread crust in the lemon tarts and the lemon curd and it's been a big hit awesome yeah you mentioned lemon curd my mom used to make lemon curd uh apparently it's popular in Britain Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and so it's not as popular over here but it sounds like you're trying to make it more popular yeah 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 lemon is just I mean we have quite a few lemon items but that's probably the most popular of the lemon items probably the best selling um as well probably behind then behind that would be our carrot cake which is a family recipe um and the cinnamon rolls are probably the third biggest seller okay i have a buddy who's big into cinnamon rolls i'll have to send him your way yeah yeah so everything is we i mean made from scratch when you come in so we have cinnamon rolls fresh every day so yeah and you also do lunch mm-hmm. uh what, what, what kind of items do you do for lunch so we do quiche every day so some people are like they like quiche for breakfast or they like it for lunch probably most of the people that come in get the quiche have it for lunch um i do sandwiches chicken salad egg salad um other sandwiches you know kind of your ham and cheese just kind of the meat and cheese kind of sandwiches mm-hmm. and then soup of the day um those are the yeah those are the lunch items so you do breakfast and lunch so mm-hmm. what time <laughs> does the day start and what time does the day end um typically uh, so the day starts like for you and the workers yeah like, we, we get in there about five o'clock in okay. the morning so we open during the week at seven thirty. on saturdays we open at eight so we're there about you know three hours before we open the doors and then we close at four during the week and at three on saturdays and usually you know the in the day doesn't go much further mm-hmm. you know we're i mean i may be getting some things or, or doing some other things after hours but we're we're because I'm, I'm starting to notice that as a concept more is breakfast and lunch mm-hmm. and and not being open for dinner mm-hmm. and I, I think maybe it's because of the the schedule a little uh, yeah. more family friendly yeah yeah I mean it's that's a long day um even from you know five o'clock till four o'clock in the afternoon so yeah, yeah. and and I never at this particular concept and this size and everything I, I yeah that this was dinner wasn't part of my my concept or my thought process yeah. you know yeah so any surprises in the you know in the process of opening or the first year that you know maybe you thought oh I, I never thought that it would be like this or so opening a restaurant um i so i think one of the biggest surprises was the hours that i'm open and and i'm thinking okay i'm you know i'm thinking maybe younger people coming into a bakery you know that i've got coffee i have iced coffee i have you know desserts and things or like moms coming in with their kids after school well the hours of the school don't it really make it that conducive and Mm -hmm. especially if you know the kids in our community a lot of them go to claire falls and that's across the bridge so my biggest surprise i think is that my my biggest customer base I feel like is an older demographic and that wasn't really what I was thinking like there's a a retirement community that's 
right behind me. I guess I should have thought about that a little bit more, but I get a lot of support from them and Good. from people even across the bridge, but it's a it's an older demographic yeah. than what I thought. Really. Yeah, getting kids ready for school, it's Yeah. you, you remember it. It's yeah. tough. <laughs> and yeah. when you get finished, you know, uh and my daughter, so my daughter's in high school and you know, she she works with me and when she, when she's not busy, but and so I just, I guess I was just kind of thinking that demographic mm-hmm. might be a little bit more than what it is, but it's, it is, it's an older, the, a lot of retired, you know, people come in in the mornings for coffee mm-hmm. and, a, you know, a cookie or a breakfast sandwich or whatever. So that's. Are, are you enjoying working with your daughter? I, I've, I've had a lot of people on the podcast <laughs> and it's, it's an interesting dynamic. <laughs> I think we don't, she's so busy that we, she really is, works just on the weekend, which is a Saturday. Okay. During the summer, she worked a little bit more with me, but for the most part, yeah. I mean, I, I enjoyed it. She's getting. She's Did she at, enjoy it? Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's okay with it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but um, she's not as much, she's a good, I mean, I was going to say she's not as much of a people person as I am, but of course she is when she's with her friends. But, you know, that initial people coming in and talking to them um, whenever they come in and just, you know, that's not. Yeah, but it's a, it's a very unique way to see another side of your child, right? Mm-hmm. You get to work with them and mm-hmm. I, I've. I don't think I could work with my kids, and <laughs> but it, it it sounds like it'd be a unique opportunity. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Excellent. So I'm definitely she's a senior this year, so I'm definitely gonna gonna miss that. Well, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you're working on a website. What's the address? And you're you're hoping in the next few weeks. So mm-hmm. what's that address? It is gonna it's www.sunshinekitchentx.com. Excellent. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to tell the audience about uh, Sunshine? Um, you know, I just, I think one of the biggest things is, yeah, get people to know where we are. And so just reiterate where we are. We're in Seabrook and in Pelican Plaza. Um, and our out, like I said, we are working on a website. So my next kind of next step is website, you know, online ordering. Okay. Can come pick it up. I mean, we do DoorDash now, but just I think the convenience because a lot and, and have a lot of people are like well what cookies do you have today or they come in and they're they know like I have cookies or they know we have cupcakes but you know kind of getting a little more schedule of mm-hmm. what we have so people aren't like if if they know they like red velvet cookies they know on this day okay. that's that's when we have them so I think that the website's going to kind of force me to be a little bit more organized in that way to say this is what we do on certain days lemon then, tarts always on the menu though? always on the okay. menu lemon tarts are, there's a lot of things that are always on the menu some of the things like i said the cookies they change they rotate the cake slice but there's a lot of things that do stay the same um we have breakfast sandwiches and these and sausage rolls which are a little bit different people are like oh is that a kolache and it's kind of like that, but it's in a puff pastry, so it's a little more flakier. And so people can just come in, and those are ready to go in the morning, typically, unless it's just been a really busy morning. But people can come in and kind of grab and go. Um, so those things are always available. So know? maybe a drive through in the second location. Yeah, maybe so. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, but we're just um, – we're open – Tuesday through Saturday, close Sunday and Monday. Um, that's good. Yeah. I, I think that's that's important. Mm-hmm. Taking that break and you know not trying to do seven days a week and you know. Yeah, I mean, eventually we might try to do like a Sunday, like a brunch or something. Mm-hmm. But that's another thing that's down the road. Um, we do. This is something kind of fun. We do a British breakfast oh, okay. on um, the last Saturday of the month. So that's coming up this Saturday, but yeah, we do uh, we do that. So full that's British a little breakfast? different. Full British breakfast with the, the bangers, the bacon, the, uh, bacon, back bacon, and Ooh. potato scone. You know, so I do advertise like on some of the Facebook groups for that demographic, and um, so yeah, we get a pretty good crowd for that as well. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Baked beans. Um, yep. Okay. Perfect. Grilled tomatoes and mushrooms. <laughs> you went yeah. full on British. Breakfast. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Excellent. So, yeah, but um, it's just a, I feel like when people come in, it's a friendly environment, you know, um, 
I usually like to find out a little bit about the people when they come in or so yeah it's just small little place but good stuff I think once people come in I they come back so excellent yeah well thanks for coming on yeah thank you